Hey guys, it's Liz and we're flipping things. And today we're just gonna do a um, quick what sold on eBay for me lately. So I just picked some of the items I've sold. I'm doing a little bit better, not as many super low items, but still some, but we're doing better. So stay tuned and I'll show you some of what sold. Can I be involved? You sure? I thought you were driving to Alfred. I am. So listen to this, my buddy forgot his wallet at his house. He goes to college two hours away from here. He goes, I'll give you 50 bucks to drive me my wallet to Alfred. That's really nice of you. I mean, when you needed a bunch of furniture moved out of your bedroom so that you could start streaming on Twitch. But you're my mom. No, no. I was going to say he was over here like immediately, like ready to I help. I called him. Yeah. I just called him so, and I was like, hey, help me. He was here, so now you're going to go there and help yeah. him. Just don't stay. you got to come home. I'm playing on it. Good. Okay. This is Michael. Has Hi. anyone checked out his music? Because you should. It's really good. I'll put a link. I, I'm mediocre at best. No, he's not. He's really good. Oh, he's so good at music. He did not get it from me. Anyways, stay tuned and I'll show you what sold on eBay. <laughs> Hey guys, okay, so let's talk about eBay. Um, my eBay sales have been okay. Like I have days where I'm sending out like four packages and then I'll have a couple days with no sales. So that's not cool. I need sales every day. Um, admittedly, I need to just up my listing and I'm not finding the time to list enough every day. Um, it is a lot with the kids home. <laughs> well, I'm home. Matthew's home all week. His school is closed com completely. It was closed last week as well. Trevor is at school for two days, so he's there today. Michael's trying to learn how to stream on Twitch, and so that's taking up a lot of our time. Um, I need to just prioritize my own business and make sure that I'm listing consistently every day because I know that makes a difference in your eBay sales, and I believe it makes a difference in terms of the algorithm and how many people they're showing your items to. So... I let's start with this. Um, this actually just sold today. This is a Pioneer Woman spatula and whisk set. This was a ton of Pioneer Woman stuff that I got at Walmart um, as retail arbitrage, like back in August. I think it was August, and um, I sold most of it on Amazon FBA. But there were some items that were not. Um, listings on Amazon. So I just put them on eBay. I probably could have gone through creating a listing, but that's just not something I have done before for Amazon and I'm not totally comfortable creating a brand new listing. So I just listed them on eBay. So this stuff's just been slowly selling off on eBay. So this first one is this Pioneer Woman spatula and whisk set. I bought it for $1.50 and I sold it on eBay for $14.99 plus shipping, which comes out to a $13.49 profit, obviously not including fees, um, like eBay fees. I am using free listings, so there's no, I don't have a listing fee on this, but I do have my final, I'll, yeah. It's not including that, just a down and dirty profit of $13.49, and this one took 162 days to sell. Keep in mind, these just sell over time because I have a bunch of them, like I don't even know, 10 or 15 of these that I got for $1.50 each. So I, you know, one sold at 30 days, one sold at 45. They, they they just sell. So this one took 162 days, but that's because I'm just selling these over time. Um, up next, this is a Uniden cordless phone system. This was actually from a friend of mine, Rachel, who is so awesome. She called me and she's like, I have all this stuff. I don't feel like giving it away um, and taking it down to the Goodwill. Do you want it? She's like, you know, sell what you can and then donate what you can't. And so I was thrilled. So I went down. She gave me a whole bunch of really cool stuff. So this was one of them. This was a cordless phone system. It was still new in the box. She actually made a joke. She's like, do people even use these? We never even opened it. Um, so I paid zero for it. I sold it for $22 plus shipping. Um, so the buyer paid shipping. <clears throat> and that's a profit of $22 minus, you know, I've got to take the fees out of there. But this sold in 10 days. I do well anytime I find a box set of these cordless phones. I also got one from Smaller Lots, and that I did really well on. Um, so I guess people are still using cordless phones out there. We only have 
cell phones in my house. So um, I'm always a little like surprised that there's households that have like landlines, but you know what? Someday like something's going to happen and the cellular service is going to go out for the whole country and I'm going to be really mad. I don't have a landline. I'll tell you. Um, what is next? Oh, you guys, this costume. All right. This is a little tiny cupcake costume for a little girl and I only have boys and I bought this um, on Facebook on one of the um, quarantine thrift and sell pages only because it was just so cute and I have boys and they don't wear anything so cute like this. And um, so I gotta go back to school. <laughs> Matthew must be late for one of his online classes. Um, <laughs> So um, I paid $2 for this plus shipping. Um, I bought a bunch of stuff from this buyer. So I think it worked out to like 50 cents or less per item to get the stuff shipped to me. Um, so I paid $2. This sold for $14.99 for a profit of $12.99. Um, and it sold in 50 days. So not a huge profit, but ugh, it was so cute. I had to buy it. <laughs> you know what I, you know what you get when you have three boys, like mud, dirt, um, ripped jeans, hats, nothing cute. Like I better get granddaughters. One of these boys better someday, a long time away, no rush. Give me some granddaughters because I want a granddaughter so I can put them in little cupcake costumes. Um, yeah. It was cute. I was sad to see this go, but happy to see this go too, because obviously I just bought it to resell. Um, okay. What's next? Oh, this one was a surprise. So last summer when garage sales were happening, I was like super excited. I really love the garage sales. And, um, at one garage sale, they had like garbage bags full of plushes out by the street that they were just like, take them for free. They weren't even included in like the sale. So I just grabbed those whole bags and brought them home and then went through and found anything that I thought might be of value. Um, I've sold quite a few of plushes from those bags and this was another one from those bags. So I paid zero for these. This was a lot of three Barney plush stuffed animals. Um, I basically decided to put the three of them together Listen, I got to be honest. I am not a Barney fan. It was a thing when Michael was a baby. And I can remember, like, I still, when I hear that song, it's like nails on a chalkboard. I don't know why that was so big. Like that. And then what's the, what's the one with the kid with like just two strands of hair? He's super annoying. What is it? It'll come to me. At some point, I'm going to blurt out a show like later on in this video. Anyways, I couldn't stand Barney. But I decided to lot these. They were in great condition. So I decided to lot these three Barney plushes together and see what happened. That was this summer. Um, 180 days later or six months later, I sold them for $14.99. I'm thrilled. I originally listed them as a lot of three for $20.99 and had been lowering the price over time. I think I got down to $14.99 and decided to just stick there for a while. And that's what someone bought it at. And I was super happy to see those go. Um, because again, it was like, it kind of took a risk. I wasn't sure. But I, I mean, how can you not go after inventory that you're getting for free? It's like the greatest thing ever. So I was really happy. Bye, Barney. Bye, bye. Um, and, you know, thankfully none of them played music because that would have been terrible. What's next? Oh, this was a good one. Okay, so I got this in my Catch and Deals box, um, one of my mystery boxes from them. And it's a Michael Kors watch. And it was beautiful. And for some reason, I was like nervous that it was like not real. Um, like I had no way to authenticate it. It looked legit. Um, but I just sat on it for like months. Like I didn't list it. And then I was watching... Um, I think it was pallet jacking and they mentioned that they had sold theirs from the box and then other people were commenting oh i sold mine too and i'm like oh my god what's wrong with me i'm sitting on this watch so i listed it um 
I averaged everything everything in that box out to $10 per item, um, which isn't really accurate. It was actually probably a little bit less because there was more than 10 items in there. Um, but I like lotted the jewelry together and stuff. <laughs> so I paid $10. This sold for $71 in eight days um, for a $61 profit. Now I got to take the final listing fees, 71 plus shipping. I was so excited about that. I like couldn't believe how fast it sold. And I'm mad that I like didn't list it sooner. Um, but eight days, I probably could have gotten a little bit more for that watch. And I did get positive feedback. So that's nice. Um, so I feel good about it. So that was a nice little profit. I was really happy if I could do that all the time. I mean, I would be like, probably in a better financial situation than I am right now. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> What's next? Let me see. Oh, okay. This, I was really surprised. So I did buy quite a few um, vintage Christmas decorations before the holidays. This was one of them. It's a Dickensville 1995 Christmas schoolhouse. It was very cute. The light still worked. I checked. I got it at the Goodwill for $3.70 and um, I listed it like well before Christmas. Nothing happened. It didn't sell. And so then I was like, oh boy. I'm sitting on this thing till next Christmas. Like I really, that's really what I thought. Um, but a week ago, it sold. It sold for $14. Um, it took 60 days to sell. And, um, you know, I made around 10 bucks on it. So I was shocked. I don't know why I really believed that like, if it didn't sell at Christmas, it wasn't selling at all. And I've heard people before say that, um, Christmas items and holiday items can sell all year. And I don't know. I just didn't believe it. I was like, oh, I don't know. Because I have some Halloween stuff that I haven't listed. But now I'm going to list it. Because you know what? Someone bought a Christmas house in January. Um, so awesome. Oh, another Pioneer Woman item right here. This was a cutting board. Also, um, didn't have a listing on Amazon. So I sold it on eBay. And um, I got this for $1.52. That was like the biggest Pioneer woman, woman score of my life. I didn't make as much on Amazon with these items as I wanted to, but I've been doing really well on eBay. Um, just because you keep so much more of your money with eBay in terms of like fees. Amazon FBA it was like, you know, I might have sold something for $14, but you're only walking away with three. Anyhow, this is a cutting board, a Pioneer Woman cutting board. I paid $1.50 for it. It sold for $18 plus shipping for a profit of $16.50 and it took 150 days to sell. So this one did take a while, um, you know, and it was like still in the cellophane plastic, like great item, a little bit heavy kind of, I think that may, may be why it took so long to sell was once you added the shipping in there, it was kind of a pricey item for a, not a huge cutting board. I mean, it was like, you know, can you tell on your screen how big that is? <laughs> so I was really, I, listen, I'm glad it sold. Um, super happy with that profit. I can't beat that. And then the last item I'm sharing, this was another, I do, um, I don't want to like leave out. I'm still selling video games and DVDs. Like these just, they're just consistent, small little profits, um, filler items, whatever you want to call them, but they move fast and they sell well for me. So this was Grey's Anatomy season five. This was still in the packaging. I think my husband bought it for me like a decade ago um, when I was super into Grey's Anatomy. I don't know when I stopped watching it. It's been a while. Um, obviously, I never opened the season five DVD. So I listed it and I paid zero. It sold for $11 and it took 72 days to sell. Um, so I had a couple pretty decent items here. Nothing huge, but, you know, consistency, consistency, consistency. Just sell, sell, sell. List, list, list. Um, I'm happy. I think this was a better sort of period than my um, last kind of breakdown of my eBay sales just because I really am trying to not buy so many like small little low profit items. I'm really working hard at that. 
I do have a ton of listing to do today um, because I've got those boxes from the liquidation. and Those have not gone up because, you know, this weekend it was like we were, you know, the normal stuff, right? Like cleaning. Like I feel like my husband and I cleaned all day on Saturday and it's still a mess because these kids, I don't know. How do they make, look it, this is Trevor's pajamas just thrown here on the floor from when he left for school this morning. I'm leaving it until he gets home so I can make him pick it up and put it in the laundry. Anyways, um, we did a lot of cleaning and then yesterday was all about the bills and they lost. Pretty sad. It was pretty sad, but I gotta be honest, the Chiefs were just better than us yesterday. Like we didn't play our best and they were just better than us. There's no other way to put it. Mahomes, God damn, he's good. And can I just say something? As a Buffalo fan, it is in our genetic um, DNA to hate Tom Brady. And so all I want in the world is to see Tom Brady get beat in the Super Bowl at home. <laughs> so go do that, Kansas City. I'm sorry. <laughs> he just beat us for so many years. It was like a movie. I was like, if we wind up in the Super Bowl against Tom Brady, I swear. It was pretty sad. It was sad. We waited like 25 years to make it to an AFC championship game and then didn't make it to the Super Bowl. And that's sad. But you know what? We made it to the AFC championship and that's amazing. 28 teams didn't. Um, and our team is young, right? Like we have nowhere to go but up. So, and you know what? To be totally honest, I don't want to win a Super Bowl in the middle of a pandemic when Buffalo can't even celebrate properly. I want to win a Super Bowl when I can go downtown and pile in with thousands of people and celebrate in a parade when the Bills come home triumphantly with a Super Bowl trophy. That's what I want. So you know what? I'm glad we didn't win yesterday. I wanted to cry yesterday though. That's the truth. Um, I've had a little time to reflect now. So busy weekend. Didn't get any listing done. I'll be honest, but I am about to do that now. Um, and how are you guys doing? How are your sales? How is Amazon going for you? Amazon's been very up and down for me. Like I lately have either been like huge sales on Amazon for the day, not huge, but like high sales on Amazon for the day or nothing. Um, and eBay and Amazon are kind of offsetting each other. Somehow I need to find the trick to getting both of them up there at the same time. I don't know. I think it's doable. Anyways, I hope you guys are having an awesome day. Happy Monday and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.